Are you looking for the best fire starters for survival and camping in your budget? Well in today's video, we break down the top 5 best fire starters for survival and camping that are available on the market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price quality, durability, and more to see the more information about these product. I found these products much helpful for people like you. You can check out the description below also make sure you subscribe for more videos. Okay so let's get started with the video. Number 5. Lightning Strike Ferrocerium Fire Starter System. One of the challenges with ferro rods is that when struck the sparks cover a large area. Wouldn't it be nice if you could direct all of those sparks into a smaller area right on your tinder? That's exactly what this fire starter does. The ferro rod is built into the 7.5 inch aluminum casing. There is a slot in the side where you insert the striker, and when you run the striker down the rod the sparks shoot out of the end of the tube almost like the barrel of a gun. Another awesome feature this fire starter has is a compartment where tinder can be stored. The tinder that comes with the product is advertised to be enough to start around 18 to 20 fires. Number 4. Eric X Light Ferrocerium Rods. These are pretty basic ferrocerium rods and I found them to be extremely easy to use. They're half an inch thick and six in length making striking them super easy and trust me, I hate those super small ones. They claim these create showers of sparks and they're totally right, you can easily start a fire with just one strike if you do it right. In the package, you'll get two of these and each is rated for a minimum of 12,000 strikes. They have a convenient little hole in the end for a lanyard and they're very easily used when wet or even in rain so long as it isn't like a hurricane level rainstorm. As far as ferro rods go, these are easy to use and pretty basic while providing a ton of value and certainly getting the job done. Number 3. Swiss Safe 5 in 1 Fire Starter Emergency Kit. These things glow in the dark so bright they can nearly blind you. Okay, maybe that's a little bit of an overstatement, but they are pretty cool and you really can get a set that is glowing handles. I never thought I needed glowing handles on my ferro rods, but hey, here they are and they only cost a dollar more than the ones that don't glow so, why not? The Swiss Safe 5 in 1 Fire Starter Package comes with a handy dandy compass, a couple of feet of 8 core paracord 450 pounds, a 150 dB whistle, steel ferro rod scraper, and of course a two pack of magnesium ferrocerium rods. These five ferro rods are rated at 16,000 strikes but only weigh less than two ounces, making them excellent for those of you shaving off every unneeded gram from your pack. Number 2 Exotac Nano Striker XL. If you're looking for a super compact EDC fire starter, this one by Exotac is awesome. Its 3.5 inch body is made from lightweight aluminum, the fire starter weighs only 1 ounce total, so this really is a great EDC fire starter. The magnesium fire starter is of high quality and lasts for thousands of strikes. Key features 3000 strikes per rod. Waterproof design. Multiple colors available. Multiple colors available. Key ring for neck carry. Great for get home and bug out bags. Replaceable ferrocerium rods that screw right into the body. Number 1. Swedish Fire Knife. The Light My Fire Knife, also known as the Swedish Fire Knife, is a handy little survival knife and fire starter combo. The bottom of the knife handle has a fire steel that clips into the back of the knife. The sheath of the knife is very quality, and the knife actually clips into the sheath. The knife itself is pretty good quality but I certainly would not use it as a primary survival knife. That said, being that it is lightweight and doubles as a fire starter it is a great backup. The small complaint I do hear about this knife quite a bit is that the fire steel is a little small, although it is usable. You may want to carry another ferro rod in your pack and only use the one in the base of the handle as a backup, 